So you decided to go to multiple orthodontists for multiple opinions and you're like, why did one of them tell me it was gonna take longer than the other? Before we get to that, if you wore braces for a super long time, leave a comment below. Or if your braces were really fast, leave a comment below. I'd love to see the difference. So first, remember a few of these things. There is no magic pill or silver bullet that can fix tooth movement concerns, problems like that. It's just not out there. Lots of different companies have been coming out with ways to try and speed up the process. But for the most part, those techniques may just be more cost and burden rather than truly effective at reducing total time in treatment in a significant way. There's no appliance, there's no type of bracket system, no growth modification, nothing like that that has been shown to be superior to all other appliances as it relates to outcome and or time frame needed for treatment. So don't get caught up. If somebody's out there telling you, hey, I can do this. I can do this all day. Really complicated case in like 12 months or 15 months Here's another thought. Sometimes the difference between estimated treatment times or the reason why there can be differences in, in total time in braces, potentially because of outcomes and the details. On the details. Teeth can get pretty straight in six months, less than a year. But a really well-finished case, according to the orthodontic ideal, may require some detailing. Detailing is when you're like, you know, doing these little twists and push and down and tip and all sorts of things. And that can take like three to six months, depending on how much detailing you have to do. So orthodontists may spend several months trying to detail. So if your provider, if they decide to skip that, or if you decide to skip that with your provider, then that could reduce the total amount of time. But it is not crazy to have longer treatment periods, especially if you are trying to focus in on really small details. And be sure to compare apples to apples. You might have one treatment plan that uses this appliance and one treatment plan that uses this appliance and another appliance. But that's because the different specialists feel like, hey, this appliance helps me do this part of treatment and this appliance helps me do this part of treatment. And the other provider says, well, this one appliance you know, it kind of is a good happy medium and get close to it. Different techniques may affect total time, but usually not in a seriously significant way. The final thought for today is of one particular technique. I have seen reports of some providers using the Carrier motion device, right? This idea of doing bite correction first because bite correction is usually what takes a long time, where you're trying to bring your top teeth back, or you're trying to bring your bottom teeth back. They're actually, this idea of bite correction first can be applied with rubber bands, or sometimes it can even be applied at a surgical level, and you can do surgery first, and really reduce the total amount of time in treatment. You're like, well, didn't you just say that there's no silver bullet? Well, it's because it's not just like a guarantee. And how many people want to go through surgery? With rubber bands, the idea is maybe if you get individuals into the rubber bands at the very beginning, when they're like excited and really motivated about treatment, they can get through the hard part first and then they just finish up with some tidying up. It doesn't always work that way and then you end up wasting your time <laughs> if you spend a lot of time just you know, trying to use the rubber bands instead of straightening your teeth and using the rubber bands. Anyways, there's all sorts of different thoughts, right? But those are some different things that you can consider. Why you might get different estimated time frames for your orthodontic treatment. Don't get caught up in the magic pill or the silver bullet. Make sure you're comparing apples to apples and that you're getting the details that you want. Finally, if you're really concerned or if you think that you can be really motivated to wear rubber bands, you might just ask about the bite correction first option right? The rubber band's first option or the surgery first option. Take home message on average, a well-finished case that's reasonably challenging, that's kind of vague, I know, can take anywhere between 18 and 36 months. It's like one and a half to three years. That's not crazy. Orthodontists, we want to finish your case as fast as we can, but also as well as we can. We want you to help you accomplish your goals. And so be sure to ask questions and get on the same page with your provider. If you want to get on the same page with me here in McKinney and Anna, Texas, schedule an appointment. We can talk. We can meet. Or if you're too busy or already have braces, send this to your friends. Love to meet them and talk to them about how long their treatment might take. Otherwise, continue to watch the channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PFO in so you know where you're going. Packard out.